I have uh, problems with the way that data were presented. Certainly at the uh, AACR meeting, the implication was yes. that it was no more toxic than right. chemotherapy. Right. Right. And granted, I was not involved in the study, but I certainly, like uh, all of us, have uh, given patients Ipinevo. And it, it can be, it, uh, some patients sail through, but others really crash and burn. It is a potentially very toxic regimen. I, I think and in this population, you raise the ante in terms of risk of toxicity. And um, intri intriguingly, as Karen has pointed out, uh, the, the relevant toxicity table is actually buried in the supplement in the New England Journal paper. The folks who, are on, uh, who had high TMB and were exposed to ipinevo were on it longer mm -hmm. and therefore had the opportunity for more toxicity and clearly did have more toxicity. The second issue is not all grade three and four toxicities alike. Myelosuppression, which is going to be much more common with chemotherapy, is frequently totally asymptomatic. So we have to distinguish between clinical toxicity and paper toxicity. Yes. And most of the epinevo toxicity yeah. was clinical. It's not, it's not paper toxicity. That, not yeah. at all. Yeah, exactly. The other point I want to make, um, this trial underwent a number of amendments as it went along. In the less than 1% group, they actually included another amendment adding nevo to chemo and comparing that to chemotherapy alone. So it's a separate subset. Haas Borgai is uh, reporting on the data uh, at this meeting, and it does, in fact, show a higher response rate, higher PFS in the zero group. So the analogous trial would potentially be uh, 189, although this is both squamous and non-squamous. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen the survival data mm -hmm. yet. Yeah, and I think uh, the other points that are important, which have been consistently seen, is that PDL1 and TMB are independent of each other because they saw benefit in the lows and in the highs, a little bit more benefit in the non squamous mm. than the squamous outpatient population. But it was independent of histology. But, but yeah, so. So I, is uh, I'm Ben? No, I was just going to say one other point that that was a little. It was mentioned uh, not in the appendix, but. Uh, very deep in the discussion or the, the results, and that is, you know, they did a, a, a secondary analysis mm -hmm. looking at just single agent Nevo mm -hmm. versus chemo and used a TMB cutoff of 13. Mm -hmm. No difference. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I'm not sure what the biological rationale that dual checkpoint blockade outperforms chemotherapy for high TMB, but single agent doesn't. Um, I don't think we've ironed that out. No, I think there are lots of issues about TMB that uh, we haven't resolved at this point, and and, and that's one of them because um, you know there was some suggestions from Checkmate 026 that the TMB level could be helpful in yeah. distinguishing this, and and I, I I just am concerned that the message that we thought 227 was going to bring us is going to be diluted with all these subset analyses in, in different the, populations. The, and the overall trial had something on the order of 1,700 yeah. to 1,800 patients. So this is only 300 patients or so right. from okay. that much larger trial. And as far as I'm concerned, it's tantalizing. It's yeah. certainly hypothesis generating. It's not yet a game changer. I need did, to see this revival. Yeah, did anyone that. walk away from the 227 presentation and say that, it, or, or what advice would you give to your community colleagues? Is TMB a, 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 a standard of, a, that we should be looking at now, or is it? I think not we're ready on the for, cusp. I think we're ready the, for it needs primer. refinement. It's certainly something that you, you can obtain when you send off a Foundation One report. You're going to get the TMB on these patients. Is it helpful in treatment naive patients in the context of 189? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, every uh, patient population in 189 uh, derived the benefit, even those never smokers. Mm -hmm. um, there, there may be certain instances that I would consider it as, again, when treatment decisions become individualized. Certainly, we're not talking about small cell, but we've seen in the refractory setting that perhaps TMB may drive an effect with dual checkpoint blockade and, and small cell, but for non-small cell, it, it's not something that I would use in everyday practice yet. I mean, trying that hazard ratio in 189 is, is so good, and this does not compare to that hazard right. ratio. Yes. So, um, it, and as you pointed it, out, the OS is and, not And, and the OS then. is... Immature. immature. I think immature. they did present yeah. it. It was 22 immature. months versus 16 yeah, months, yeah. which brings up another point. 16 months in the control mm -hmm. arm is better than mm -hmm. we had seen really mm -hmm. in uh, mm -hmm. in Power 150, uh, in a, a ostensibly more selective population, and certainly in 189. So this is not our average patient. They had to wait till TMB was actually available, and uh, th there's a time element here that's uh, Well, they didn't not, wait. This was... Well, till the, um, well, they were randomized, but still TMB was uh, a feature. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Certainly in clinical practice, and we'd I, have to wait I if we're going to select rem people on that Yeah, basis. we remember that if you're a squamous cell patient, you're not getting NGS sequencing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you would have to be getting NGS sequencing for 
patients with squa yeah, just for that piece. And I think the other questions that come into play is the various assays and platforms that are out there. And there is an ongoing harmonization uh, study for TMB so that we can answer the questions just like we had with PDL1. So I think that will be important. It appears that having a TMB greater than 10 is, is going to be where the cutoff will be. Um, but we'll see, you know, so, others yeah. have higher cutoffs, cutoffs, but I think as long as you're above 10, you're probably gonna be in uh, the, the general ballpark. Can we refine it? TMB, remember, is still a, a, is crude in terms of it's a lot of. It's more complicated than getting a PDL one. It's, it's it more takes more time too, and it takes three or four weeks. And these are again some of the issues that are going to be challenging to our community uh, physicians because you really would have to send TMB out.